those arahats again come back, had to come back to this world, had to suffer, that is not possible. Once you you have uh, you got it, you got to take them off, then uh, there's no chance for them to reoccur within you. So the next you you won't share me give that 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 you let say come to do what you come to me me that we charge you. No share that that you but never say. So uh, where is it? 46. 46. 46. Thank you. 44, 45, 46. Uh, based in my mind, where might it go once cast out? Where might it stay and work towards my destruction? I make no effort simply because my mind is dull. The, the defilements are weak, weaklings <laughs> to be subdued by wisdom's clear. 46. The other Translation, diluted, disturbing conceptions when forsaken by the eye of wisdom and dispelled from my mind. Where will you go? Where will you dwell? In order to be able to injure me again, uh, weak-minded, I, uh, I have been reduced to making no effort. Mm, no effort, okay. So, So all these uh, deceptive emotions should be abandoned by the tools of wisdom. Once you've done that, then where they go? They, they, they are finished. They stay in your mind. They, if they're there, they have to stay in your mind. There is no any other place they can stay. So. Once you have abandoned them through the power of wisdom, then they, they disappear, they are destroyed completely, and there is no place for them to, to plant or to stay. So they, they cannot come back to harm us again. So that is, um, uh, since that is like that, it is that we have not uh, made enough effort to destroy them, otherwise uh, you can do it. So the wisdom here means, uh, the wisdom here means uh, the understanding of emptiness, that is the wisdom part, you know. So the understanding of emptiness is the only missile to hit directly the delusion. When there is no any other missile that they can destroy uh, the uh, delusions or deceptive emotions. It's the only missile. But then you might need help, you know, to carry out the missile, and, you know, rocket or whatever, I don't know. So uh, the human effort, all this. But, uh, but the real tool is the Wisdom, that is understanding of emptiness. So to that you can demolish all your destructive emotions. So it is very important to try to understand what is emptiness, what is wisdom, think over it over again and then you remember that we, uh, we have been doing the dedication at the end that uh, we uh, we recite that uh, four sentences about the emptiness that's uh, inconceivable, inexpressible. The uh, emptiness is like that. So what is emptiness? Emptiness is the ultimate nature of all phenomena. Now, it is easier to understand because of quantum physics. So what the quantum physics in science, they, what, what they describe, you know, 
how the universe is, the ultimate nature of the universe, ultimate nature of the world, and they try to find out. And they find they try to find out the atoms, atoms. So finally, they find nothing. The atoms, the atoms was uh, atoms were the uh, subtlest things they found in early days. Now they, they can go even more detail about the atoms, and then they go into de detail about the atoms. I think maybe you know better than I do, uh, that because I don't know science, you know. Uh, but the, the, the quantum physics, they say like that. So ultimately, the whole world is there's no solid things are there. Nothing is solid. Or everything is like an energy, what they call it. You know. It's something energy, something like energy. Or oh, they cannot explain what is it, but it disappears somehow. So that is ultimate nature. So Buddha said that the ultimate nature is empty, inexpressible, inconceivable, in the nature of sky. Space, sky. So what is space? It's empty. Space means? <coughs> What was that? Emptiness. Space means nothing, no? Emptiness. So, uh, so the, uh, and then that, that nature is never born. That nature was never born. Since it is never born, it never sees. If it is born, then there has to be an end. We are born, so we die. If we are not born, we don't die, right? So that is law of nature. If it is there, one day it has to go. But the, but the nature of uh, this, this nature, the ultimate nature, that, that was never go, so never cease. So the nature of sky or space. So you have to realize so the other day, maybe the first day, we discussed about the meditation. Remember? The relaxation meditation, relaxing meditation. So at that time, you look at your mind. Did I tell you that, right? So from there, you can get some idea. You look at your mind. Inside, what is the shape? You, do you feel your thoughts, your mind? There is mind. You don't deny the existence of mind, don't you? Do you deny the existence of thoughts, conceptions? No, you don't. So you look at that, focus on that, and then try to find out the color of thoughts, color of the mind, the shape of the mind. It works. Thoughts come in and in and in, they come again, and it continues. <coughs> Unless we see it never ends. But how it looks, how it works. When you look at into it, it goes like this. Calm, quiet. That is relaxation. That is not a real meditation, but the relaxation. And then I think this is a very good relaxation. Five minutes a day. Five minutes a day, you live 100 years. <laughs> Ten minutes a day, two hundred years. <laughs> no, I'm joking, but it is because calm mind, if you can have calm mind and quiet mind and peaceful mind, you live longer. That is 
also scientific uh, scientific statement. So, no time. Yeah. So now the time is set. There's no no more than the little bit of other than the banana. Tell us, tell us, tell us, Mina, did I come there or could I see the two that is in English? You will see the other. The body, the main is the darling, yes, darling, yes, or no, the children. Then, um, that I'm not so chicken, she may love a duty, and never said, maybe I'm not my dear, man, I get sugar never so a colleague is. Uh, I'm just a bit of a pirate, and I said, I'm a little shiba. No, forty. Oh, okay, no, this is not forty-seven. The departments do not dwell in objects, nor in the collection of those of the sense. More in the space in between, there is no, uh, no, no, nowhere else for them to dwell, and yet that churn up the entire universe. This is but illusion. So hard, free yourself from fear, devote yourself to start striving for wisdom. Why? Quite uh, needlessly, do you torment yourself in hell, making a firm resolve in this way? I shall strive to follow the training as it has been taught. How can someone who could be cured by medicine get yet well? Get well if he does not follow the doctor's advice. Forty-seven, right? Uh, the the uh, translation. If these disturbing conceptions do not exist within the objects, the uh, the sense organs between the two, or nowhere elsewhere, then where do they exist and how do they harm the world? They are like an illusion. Thus, I should dispel the fear within my heart and strive res uh, resolutely for wisdom. For no real reason, why should I suffer so much in hell? Therefore, having thought about these, this well, I should try to put these precepts uh, into practice just as uh, they have been explained. If the doctor's instructions are ignored, how will a patient in need of a cure be healed by the medicine? So that is the end of the chapter. And uh, I assume you understand. Uh, uh, you understand, right? So, uh, so you must. Uh, 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 the, the final, the conclusion is that uh, you must uh, contemplate over the explanations that he has given, and you must uh, uh, try, try your best uh, to uh, fulfill the training. And uh, because uh, if you don't uh, listen to your uh, to the uh, to your doctor, and then it is difficult to be cured. So, so we are suffering from uh, the uh, uh, destructive emotions, uh, the di uh, disease of destructive emotions. So we have to listen to the Buddha's advice and. Uh, so that is uh, uh, so. This uh, uh, where are those uh, destructive emotions? They are not outside uh, over there. They are not in the uh, faculties, our faculties, uh, and they're not in between. And uh, and then where are they? So it is like an illusion. It is there, but it is like a, like an illusion. So we don't need to be scared of these. How, how these are very destructive. These delusions are very destructive. They, 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 they have been destroying me right from the beginning time. So you are, you get you can get scared, but you don't have to get scared because if you try to find out, you cannot find that. So it will be uh, it will be disappear. Uh, so so. So that is how you analyze. So that you try to capture the ultimate truth, ultimate nature 
of the destructive emotions, and then that's it. You will destroy them. So that is um, uh, the fourth chapter that we uh, we had uh, we somehow did it. And uh, uh, so now this is the last um, uh, discussion on this holy book. Uh, for my history, so hope to continue with uh, this uh, teaching next next time. So then uh, now we should do the <coughs> dedication of the prayer. So we'll say when we say prayer, so the, 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 the precious body mind, which are not yet born, maybe be born. And which are already born, may they increase, uh, and which are uh, damaged, they be, may they be de uh, restored, and uh, uh, then uh, the, which are uh, which are in which are bodhicitta, uh, which are intact, uh, they may they increase infinitely. That is the first. Uh, our prayer. So we must. Uh, we might have, because we are discussing a holy book. We have been discussing uh, the Buddha Dharma, and we have uh, uh, we have produced some kind of at least some kind of aspiration towards the altruistic mind, bodhicitta. So somehow we have collected some amount of merit. So we must dedicate them. So we dedicate for the uh, increasing of bodhicitta mind. And then at the end, the inexpressible wisdom, in, uh, expo uh, expressible, inconceivable, uh, sky, nature, and so forth, you know, that uh, I explained earlier. So, uh, so that time, the ultimate nature, that Buddha, destructive emotions, Constructive emotions, uh, virtuous actions, non-virtuous actions, the practitioner, the Dharma, what you practice, the, the Buddha, the teacher, and all of them, ultimately, their nature, ultimate nature of them is empty, emptiness. So you are Merit is also in the nature of emptiness. And then you find that kind of understanding and you try to meditate on that feeling or that understanding. So, and then uh, finally, of course, uh, I'm very happy to meet all of you and all the members of NCC and National, no, not national, the Bushri uh, Center, all the members and the other participants. And we have been seeing each other for uh, many years. And uh, I'm very happy to see all of you again here <coughs> uh, this year, year 2018. And uh, I'm very happy to meet again Geshela. Oh, <coughs> in this I'm very grateful to Gesela and our monks from Key Monastery. Uh, so for everybody, I will pray to have a good life, happy, happy life, joyful life, long life, successful life, <laughs> and overall, most important, is meaningful life. Okay. So uh, that uh, meaningful life means what I need. Meaningful. I always use this. I try to use this to to give to my friends. I'm sorry, now the time is over. Uh, five minutes, okay? Uh, so I always try to tell my friends, meaning I wish you a meaningful life. So I'm trying to give a hint. You can. You can. Trans interpret in many ways. 
But my meaning is that uh, good practice of Dharma, that is meaningful. The others or everybody is doing. So can, can be meaningful, can be meaningless, you know. So the meaningful life, what I meant is the good Dharma practice. So very meaningful life, ups and downs, that is part of our life that we must learn that and uh, sometimes we are sick, sometimes we, we are happy, feel, feel quite energetic, sometimes we become rich, sometimes we can become poorer, so that, uh, sometimes people like you, sometimes people don't like you, dislike you, all these are ups and downs in our life and that is always there with everybody, not with us only, okay, you know, the everybody. Even the most powerful president of the world, that of uh, he also faces this kind of thing. So, so everybody, all the most uh, richest person in the world, they also face they sin. Maybe um, maybe they don't starve or something like that, but still they have you know problems. Problems. <laughs> they don't get fulfill their wishes because they don't find the wish fulfilling joy. You know. So, so, uh, so that is there. That is not a big deal. So you should try to understand that, and you should try to ignore that, right? So if we cannot, uh, as he just uh, told us the, uh, in the book Acharya Shankideva, if we cannot use, make effort, if we cannot use this opportunity, then this is very uh, unfortunate for all of us. <coughs> So I pray for you in that way, and uh, you, uh, I, w I would like to request to you also, uh, all the members, all my friends, to pray for me. And uh, so once again, thank you very much, NCC, Keshila, Mr. President, Chairman, and other committee members, and uh, all my friends.